All right, let's see how this goes today. What's up with Ski Chaser fam? Welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're well, hope everything is good. I tried recording this video yesterday and I kept getting this very weird SD card error thing happening. So I'm hoping that I fixed that issue, went home, changed the SD card in the Cena, and then also formatted it. So hopefully we should be good. Guess we'll find out. I'm actually on my way to work today. It is the weekend, which means I typically don't focus so much on recording, making content. I focus more on my regular job because it takes a lot out of you. It's kind of hard to train your body to get up at certain points and, you know, go home and go to sleep when you're wired, even though like you don't want to. And so I've kind of gotten to the point where on the weekends, I try to just focus on working hospitality and then during the week typically just you know on my days off I focus on making content for YouTube. I was sitting at home and I was kind of getting started for the day and doing some social media stuff answering some of your guys' comments and you know doing some Facebook and Instagram and blah 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 as you do. Typically when I do that I watch YouTube. In case you guys don't know I watch most of the people who make motorcycle content. I put it up as either you know background noise or whatever while I'm editing and I watch it just kind of in my off time while I'm doing other stuff and something that I've noticed about YouTube is it really is starting to irk me something's happened over the past couple months I'm not sure what is going on over at Google but let me backtrack a little bit kind of let you know what I'm talking about so as many of you may have noticed this channel along with many others is part of the YouTube Partners, AdSense, blah, blah, blah program. Basically what that means is there are ads that run on my channel in the form of small commercials and they kind of interject themselves. You can, you can set it up if you really want to go in there and set up where the ads are and all this, blah, blah, whatever, or you can just kind of let YouTube decide what to do with it kind of naturally picks breaks. And that's what most people do, I think, is they just kind of let the system naturally pick where they're gonna put these advertisements in. So it used to be that you would, you know, see an advertisement at the beginning of the video, and then it would be usually about a, I think, 30 second to three minute ad. And there was usually two of them. After about six seconds, it gives you the option to skip the ad. What I've noticed is over the past couple of months, a lot of these ads have shortened down to about six seconds, six to 10 seconds. And because of that, it doesn't give you the option to skip the ad. So you are forced to watch both advertisements, even though they're only about 20 seconds before the video, which I actually really agree with because as somebody who makes money off of these advertisements uh, because they are paying uh, they're paying Google and then Google splits the revenue Ooh, that was big with whoever the content creator is and I believe that it's only fair to have these advertisers have their entire ad run now I'm not saying that it should be a full two-minute ad before every video but yeah, you know, if you have a 10 second ad, that should be run. I, I think that's fair. However, what I've noticed is at the beginning of the video, you get these advertisements and then about a minute and 30 seconds in to two minutes, whatever, somewhere around in there, you immediately get another two advertisements. And then about two minutes later, you immediately get another two advertisements. And I'm like, I understand why they shortened the ads so that people would watch the entire thing and not give you the option to skip them. What I don't understand is why they are absolutely pummeling people with advertisements. Because I don't think that you should have to watch two ads, go one minute and 30 seconds. You're barely into the introduction to your video. You barely have set the pace for your content. You barely have introduced the topic. You've barely gotten your audience involved and you immediately pull them right back out. 
because now they have to be forced to watch two advertisements, which are typically the same two advertisements, maybe a little bit different. Depends on how the algorithm has curated their advertisements to the consumer. But it's so difficult right now to be able to grab somebody's attention and hold it for a 10 to 15 minute video. Because if you look at pretty much everybody's analytics, now of course there are some outliers, everybody's analytics usually has the average view time about half of what their video is. If I make a 15 minute video, my analytics are gonna show me typically that I have an audience retention of about eight minutes, which means that in that first volley of advertisements, or I guess it would be the second volley of advertisements because the first one is at the beginning of the video, but in that second volley of advertisements, there are people clicking off of this video because they've already been disconnected. Now, the only real way to combat this is if I were to, number one, turn off monetization, which I don't want to do because even though I am making this content for free in putting it out there for my audience, I do still feel like if I have the opportunity to be paid that I should try to take that, I should try to embrace that. Now, the more money I make off of this right here, the less I have to disconnect myself and force myself to go into work mode for whatever business I'm working for. So if I have the opportunity to make money, I'm gonna try and take it. So I don't wanna turn off monetization, obviously. And the other option is to go in for every single video and find a place to put each volley of advertisements. And the thing is, if I do that, I'm probably gonna to have to delete some of the spaces, which I really wouldn't have a problem with because you probably already get hit with so many of them. A couple could probably be deleted. I'm not gonna lie, a couple probably could. But typically it's so difficult to find the time to even edit, make a thumbnail, upload, do all this other stuff that is involved with making a video that just adding another 30 to 40 minutes worth of work going in and finding out where these advertisements should go is really difficult. I know it doesn't seem like it's a lot, but I would say I probably put 15 to 20 hours of work in every week on top of the fact that I work, even though I'm technically part-time, I work full-time at this job. I work full-time at this bar. Now, there is one way for this audience right here to avoid that, which is to do the premieres, to be on the premieres, because on the premieres, it shows advertisements at the very beginning, which if you are watching the premieres, I do ask that please let those advertisements play because they start at the beginning of the two minute countdown. So by the time those advertisements are over, at least if they're under a two minute advertisement, which they should be, then you'll still just be in the countdown. It won't, you won't be missing anything. Now, if the video's already started, I totally get it. Skip them, jump in the video. But the chat's still open, regardless of whether the advertisements are on. So if you are at the beginning, just, you know, at anybody's premiere, not even just mine, anybody's, just let those play. Let, you know, that three or four cents or whatever get added to the, to the total monetization process. Oops, better make sure we're not speeding. We got our camera. Yeah, a premiere is a great way to be viewing the video and not have the advertisements. And also, you know, we're on there with you guys with these premieres. So we all get to talk about it. You can ask about things in the video or most of the time with my premieres, it's just people saying what's up, which is cool. It's fun to have, you know, your friends in there watching with you, even though I've seen the video probably about 25 times <laughs> while editing. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it just seems, because Google already is such a powerhouse. They make so much money off of everything, and it seems like they're just being a little greedy, making you go through all of this, all these ads. And I get it, man, you know? Everybody's gotta make money, but it's a lot. I wanna know what, what you guys think. Let me know. I'm curious to see, as I said, not only am I 
you know, creating the content, but I'm also a consumer. I'm a consumer of content, as most people are. If you make YouTube videos, you probably also watch YouTube videos. Is this something that's just happening to me? <laughs> am I am I the only one that this is happening to? Because I don't know if it's me, if it's just like gearing something towards me, if it's if it's curating these ads, these smaller ads, more often for the channels that I watch because of because of the way that I watch. I don't know. I'm not sure. I do try to let ads play as much as possible. I mean, if I look at like there's some that are like 30 minutes. Like seriously, I looked up. I was like, why is there a 28 minute advertisement? <laughs> The video is only like nine minutes long. I do try to let them play. If it's like, if it's about two minutes or less, I usually just let them play because typically I'm doing something else anyway, like editing. So I'll just kind of like tune out for that couple of minutes. And then whenever the video starts back up, I just jump right back in. I don't know, man. I know these last few videos have been kind of just my opinions on things. <laughs> just, there's not a better way for me to be able to talk to people uh, who are consuming my content. You know, I, this is the platform where I have the most views and the most followers, so it gets the word out to my audience best. Uh, I do have my Instagram, but not as many people follow. Plus, you know, I have people who follow me who are either fake accounts or they're just like obviously not interacting. The way Instagram's going too, man, like, it's all just reels, like if you're posting pictures, they're not really pushing that anymore, and there's so many fake accounts, and you only really interact with about 50 people out of all the people that you follow. It's just the ones you, you know, interact with the most, they pop up, and then everything else is kind of sh stuffed down at the bottom. So really, <laughs> probably only um, in a small number of people's algorithm on Instagram. YouTube is great sometimes because it does push certain subjects and it does allow a voice to be said. But sometimes, man, I just don't get it. Like with this ad thing, I don't get it. I don't know why they would do something like that. It just seems so strange to me. All right, that's how that works. But do me a favor, leave me a comment and let me know what is going on with your, with your algorithm, with your advertisement algorithm, because I'm curious to know if it's just me or something going on all across the entire platform. While you're down there leaving me a comment, go ahead and leave me a like. <laughs> that would be super duper, Cooper Trooper. Headed to Nashville at the end of the week. Gonna be doing a bunch of stuff out there. Hopefully the weather holds out. I've been watching it and I don't know. <laughs> it might be, might be a little wet. Hopefully not. I want to be able to go do some awesome stuff out there. You're kind of limited when it's thunderstorming. And if you're new here, this is the Whiskey Chase channel. My name is Chase. If you want to be entered to win a $250 Revzilla gift card check out the description below what are you doing city bike dude and uh, all the information is down there so check it out and you can be entered to win on the road to 3k subs almost there getting closer every day man hell yeah i appreciate every single one of you guys thank you so much for making this little channel awesome <laughs> it's all you guys since not me for sure and uh hope to see you all later and we got some exciting stuff coming up this month and next month. I'm super, super jacked up about it. It's gonna be coming on real fast, so be sure to sub to the channel and check it out. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for me today. We'll see you next week. Peace out.